Hi, my name is Keith Elgin Douglas and welcome to Blue Jay Production Company of the Director's Cut for Father. So what we would like to do with the Director's Cut is invite you into the world of Father. We will talk about the symbolism in the film, we will talk about uh, my interaction with the actor, Jalen Smith's character, Michael Scott. Father is the second film in our two-minute thriller series. When the movie opens, the camera angle is, of course, on the phone. In this film, the, the phone is the other character. So you see the father, you see Michael Scott, but think of the phone as a character as well, because very important information that pushes the film forward comes through. The second shot is after the character Michael answers the phone. If you'll notice the camera's at a higher angle, and in that shot, you see none of his face, none of his expressions, just the side, his hand holding the phone. Again, the angle of the camera is focused on the phone. It is indeed another character. Next, you hear the voice of Lieutenant. My name is Lieutenant Nathan Jackson. I'm calling from the Atlanta Police Department Boulevard Precinct. And that voice is giving this young man the worst information he could possibly get. What you see in the establishing shot after you first see the phone is a frame. And then you see the windows, which are also frames. So it's frames within frames, but in the very center of that is the character Michael Scott. And we did that to emphasize, um, as you're watching it, his isolation and receiving this information. When I was working with Jalen, I, I wanted that information to literally be a physical slap. And since the cell phone couldn't slap him, um, I needed him to show us that. So uh, a couple of times I just walked in front of him and acted as if I was slapping him. When the lieutenant tells him that his father has been killed in a car accident. After that reaction, from this large frame, he walks into camera. And we put the camera right on his eyes. The eyes, um, cliche, but the eyes are the window to the soul. And we needed to see through his eyes the pain that he was feeling, the confusion, the chaos. And, and that in that extreme close-up, we get to go with him into this world. In the background, you hear the sound of a clock ticking. Tick, tick, tick. My name is Lieutenant Nathan Jackson. I'm calling from the Atlanta Police Department Boulevard Precinct. Am I speaking to Michael Scott? After he receives this news, that sound increases and it's boom. 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 You also still hear the voice of the lieutenant telling Michael, your father is dead. Michael, your father is dead. I'm sorry to inform you that your dad is dead. Your father was involved in a head-on collision. Your father was involved in a head-on And it's letting us through his eyes into this world of pain and chaos and confusion. His eyes pop open when you hear the lieutenant's voice calling, Michael. Michael. Sound important. At the same time, his father says, that seems like an important call. And symbolism, time, uh, chaos, confusion. We try to control time as much as we possibly can, but we can't. And that's what this is about. He's being told his father's being killed, and in the same instant, his father appears in the room. What we explore here, the themes of isolation, um, time, uh, the fourth dimension, we do all this in two minutes. 
Jalen Smith wrote this script and gave me the opportunity um, to direct my debut, uh, debut turn as a director. Yeah. And yeah. I'm um, grateful for that. I enjoy every moment of it. I depended heavily on um, the cam op, Amir Dawkins, and the lighting designer, Ethan Green, um, so that I could focus on working one-on-one -on -one with the actor because that, as an actor, my passion lies in working with the actor. At the end, everything stops. It's silent. The clock stops ticking. Um, we do a mid shot and you see Jalen, he's looking at his father and he says, Father. And then the shot is on. For me, I play the father and then I disappear. We go to black, but you hear my voice saying, Son. Then we do titles. Part of the reason for that was, again, to keep pushing that theme of, of the unstableness of time and sometimes the unstableness of reality. We invite you to go on this journey with us. This is the second film in our two minute thriller series, but there will be more. Stay tuned. Hey guys, my name is Ethan Green. I am the gaffer for Blue Jay Production Co. And we're gonna talk about some of the lighting techniques for Father. So it was, an imp it was important during Father that we had um, stable light going through the entire two minutes. So we put the 600X outside and put the Fresnel F10 lens on it to give a more zoned in light to act as the sun would. Um, on the left side of the frame, we have a practical bulb, but we also played the 100X, put some, um, quarter gel on it shining on the wall to act just a little bit more to brighten up the room. We also had when Jalen's character is walking uh, close to the camera, right above the camera, we had a huge, large soft dome with egg crate and quarter grid on it. And we had negative fill on both the right and the left sides, just kind of doing a wraparound, but instead of it all being light, the light is zoned in the middle, fading off until the negative fill in the back. So when we realized Jalen's father's, sorry, Jalen's character's, when Jalen's character's father dies, we decided to do a whole lighting switch to have it go up from a warmer tone, slightly bringing it down to a cooler tone just so the audience feels exactly what he's feeling along with his eyes telling you exactly what's going on. The lighting helps back that and represent that in the scene. So we turned the uh, light dome down about 400 or 500 degrees Kelvin and kept that negative fill wrap. So it almost makes the character feel alone. For Katie's character, Father, when he comes in, we decide to have a warmer tone coming off the practicals in the kitchen. Um, giving a um, more natural tone to his character when he walks into the kitchen to separate from the cooler to the cooler sun tone we had in the, the living room. Well, again, guys, my name is Ethan Green. Again, my name is Keith Elgin Douglas. I am the gaffer for Blue Jay Production Co. And thank you for listening to the lighting techniques we use in Fathers. Blue Jay Production Companies and... We appreciate your support. Thank you.